Welcome to the first Ronnie Wolf DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Alright, we are going to do this. Alright, for starts, what we got to do is find our clip. We're just, we don't want audio on this one, so we'll just pull that down in, play it, and go into color. All right, in the color tab, we're gonna go back to edit. Alt, drag this up to make a copy. Make sure the, the uh, magnet is on so it'll snap in place and it won't go where it doesn't need to go. And you can turn that on and off with the N key. Okay, so now in color mode, make sure that the top one is selected. And what we're gonna do to start off with is use a power window and we are going to track this point here track back oops what we want to do is track without zoom rotate and 3d turned on we just want a flat track boom that goes really fast and then back this way great okay so we've got our track. It's not perfect, but we don't need it to be perfect. Go back to your power window, choose that, and then drag this all the way down. And then back in your power window, and you don't have to do this in this order. We are going to, I'm gonna to go to the tracker again real fast, make sure we're on clip. And back into the power window, soften that and we will call that good. Okay, so what we've got right now is just the light and everything else is, is dark. And it makes some cool stuff because of the mist track. It's not a great track, it's hard to track that. So the light is there. Let's Alt S to add a new node. Bring that kind of where we want it. Let's go with glow. And this is where we're gonna get our cool effect. All right, so your source threshold, we kind of want to bring it down and we bring the spread all the way up. HV, this is gonna be your flare. Okay, so we bring that all the way to the right, red all the way over, blue, all, green all the way, and blue all the way over, brightness all the way up, opacity all the way to the right. And so now we've got a line there, and you can see that goes with the camera. Okay, now, Let's color this a little bit so we can bring our red in a little bit, our green in. And now we're kind of getting that anamorphic color to it. I'm going to go Control C while I'm on that, Alt S. I'm just going to Control V and that'll bring it out a lot more. Now we've got that anamorphic look. If we go back to the Edit tab, now all we can see is the anamorphic. What do we do? We go to the Inspector, Composite Mode, down to Screen. There we go, tutorial's over. Or, or we could do a little bit more. We could hold Alt again, drag this up, make a copy of that. Uh, it doubles that, but we're not gonna do exactly there. We are going to look at that and then come back over to the inspector and click both flips. Now we kind of have a, some coolness there. But let's make that look better. So we'll go back into the color tab, Alt S, come over to the blur node, blur it out a little bit, like so. And then we get opacity down just a scotch. There we go. I mean, you could stop right there if you wanted to, but let's add some more. So we're going to Alt drag this one over to the right, like so. Go back to our color tab. Delete this node, delete this node, delete this node. So all we have is our, uh-oh, where's our light? There it is, our light track, okay? So this is what we're gonna, this is what we need right here. This is a light track, okay? So what are we gonna do with that? We're gonna Alt S, add a new node. Now come down to light rays, pull that, drag that on. And light rays will go from just a location. So we're gonna have to do some stuff. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the beginning of our track. Uh-oh, we've got the wrong one. So let's go back over to edit. 
take the flips off, go back to color, all the way to the left. And now let's go to, well, actually first let's, let's make this look perfect. We want to line this up vertically on the X position and then on the Y, we want to get that horizontal and you'll know as soon as you get it, oh, see our X is off just a little bit. So now we've got that. Now under the tracker, we flip this to FX, grab this guy, move him over to our light ish and track forward and fail completely fail that was a horrible track who did that it was a bad track let's let's go some let's go somewhere in the middle here let's go let's move this perfectly there like so move this guy to there track backwards okay it looks a little bit better a little bit better until the end, it doesn't do so well. Okay, and then let's track this forward from here. All right. All right, so we've got that tracked. So we, we have our light rays to be centered. We could start dialing this in, bring the softness all the way down, brightness all the way up, lengthen it out. Somewhere there maybe. And now we could change the color, do something, some anamorphic style okay and let's see let's go all the way back to the beginning we might want to see alt s to create a new node uh, come back to this one control c let's copy it over this control v and now we can move things just a little bit as a matter of fact so let's move our X position to be on this side. Let's see if that stays. And then we can change our color. Something over here. Okay, so we've got both colors there. Let's go back into edit mode. Drag this straight up and over and lock it in. Now we have something that kind of looks a little bit cooler. And so if we turn that off, we can see what we're doing there. So that's kind of anamorphic lens flares. And we could actually do some other stuff. Like we come down here to our original original one down here. And we could take this first node, come over to that, thin it out. Okay, so we make this a little thinner. Go like that. We can go back to edit. Um, let's see, this one is that. So let's take this out. I'm just going to backspace, delete, alt, drag another one straight up, just like that one. Go back to color, um, back to our power window. Let's find it here. Okay. Drag this guy down, make him thinner, thinner. There we go. Go back to edit mode and watch, see what we've got. Okay, now we could take these two here and make a new compound clip and we'll call this flare, I don't know. All right, so now we've got that flare and we've got to go back over to composite mode, turn it to screen. Okay, so now we've got that back. Let's go ahead and alt drag this one up so we have a copy and then flip it all right so now we've got that cool motion and what you could see here is you could see this this is coming through so we got to go fix that in the color tab and that is in this one here i believe let's find out okay yeah it's somewhere in there so we've got that out a little bit and the brightest part is a little bit too well let's go over to let's look at our scopes and we'll drag this high part down yeah i think somewhere in there is fine go back into our blur let's blur it there we go edit let's take a look at it
I want to make sure that we don't have any hard edges because you could have a hard edge because of the edge of the screen. Okay. Another thing, and I, right now I'm in widescreen format, so one of the other things we could do as well to make this cool, make this look more anamorphic. So, so zoom, nope. Control Z, we want to select everything. Let's zoom in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's do this. We've got to take this one, which is our big flare there, make a new compound clip out of it. Um, go back into here. Screen. Screen that. Uh, let's see if we could select everything else again and zoom in without losing our effects. Yes. Cool. And I'm kind of liking that. Well, I think that, that looks pretty cool. I like it. And we could do more. But I think that looks pretty cool. It'd be a short tip, a short tutorial. And if you want to see the difference between that and the full version, so what you could do is you could come into here, grab a lens flare, like so, move it over the light. Come over to your tracker in FX, click that, grab this guy out and pull him over your light, track backwards, and let it finish, okay, track forward, okay, so we've got basically a basic track on our light source and then we could change this to 70 sci-fi and there is anamorphic in the full version of DaVinci. It's got a little other cool things than ours has. You can see ours doesn't look quite as cool but it does look interesting nonetheless. I mean we could probably figure out how to do something else. But anyways that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope I helped you out. Hope I gave you some ideas. Maybe you guys could do something cooler with this.